Alrighty, we are back, episode three. Um, gonna go get started on the electrical, finishing up all the small, the low voltage stuff. That's the outside trailer lights, the uh, tail lights, the uh, license plate light, all that stuff. Gonna wire all that up. And then I wanna finish up uh, framing all the small stuff too. Here, let me show you. These are the things that need to get framed out. They're the wheel wells, I think that's what they're called. Basically where the wheels go, they just, uh, they're boxed out, but I gotta finish boxing out the corners for them. So I could actually put cedar here and I also have to box out this thing too, just cause all of this is gonna be in its own box. And kinda, you're never gonna see it unless you open up a cover. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna do all of this low voltage stuff and get it all connected. Most of that time lapse, I was actually outside of the RV. Uh, that's because I just installed the license plate light and I also went through and cocked up a bunch of, I had to do some around the wheel well and some around there and just there's a bunch of little spots I wanted to finish cocking up. So that's why I was outside for most of that time lapse. On to the next one. <laughs> Got the electrical all done, all the low voltage and all the light stuff is in the right spot. So everything as far as electrical is basically done. All that I have to do is just have David come over and just make sure everything works good, test it out and electrical should be already 100% done. Uh, next thing that I'm doing is I'm cutting up a bunch of the two by twos, framing out the areas that I missed and framing out the the, these wheel wells and anywhere else that there's like small little places that I think will help when I'm putting in the tongue and groove just because I know that the more the more places I have to attach the tongue and groove the more places I could cut and it's just going to make it a lot easier in the future so I'm just trying to prep as much as I can for for that and yeah <laughs> I gotta do a frame for the plumbing. So frame out this box here and then frame out this wheel well. So I got this whole water thing framed out. Took a little bit of adjusting just cause it's a different height. I have to be able to let, let it pass through those. I uh, figured that out. I did the wheel well on this side. I still have to do it on this side, but uh, there's just some plumbing stuff I have to figure out with Dan first to see how how high I actually have to go because I don't want to make it too big of a box. So last thing I'm going to do today probably is just uh, not everywhere but where I can to start putting the second layer of insulation. The only places I really can't is where the lights are. So all of these are where there's electrical just kind of in those areas until David comes in and finishes it but everywhere else I could already start putting in that that second layer and then be ready for the tongue group. <laughs> It took me a while to get those three panels up longer than I wanted to but the main reason is because I don't really have a place to work at all it's not flat or anything plus I keep losing tools because it's just so messy so instead of struggling and fighting that I'm gonna just take some time and just clean everything up and try to have a nice place to work with <laughs> reason I cleaned up or wanted to clean everything up is because I lost a tape measure and I just literally could not find it so after cleaning it I ended up finding three tape measures so I'm glad I cleaned up and uh, that's gonna be it for today okay I'm back gonna try to finish all the insulation in the sauna and try to finish insulating these wheel wells too 
Uh, it's not really a hard thing to do. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. So I'm just gonna try to get it out of the way before Saturday because I'm hoping Saturday that uh, some of the boys could come help me, Uncle Greg could help me, and hopefully we could get all the cedar done. I doubt it's gonna happen, but try to get as far as I can. <music> insulated in most of the ceiling I ran out of the big pieces of the insulation so I'm gonna have to go pick some up tomorrow uh, last thing I'm gonna do for today is just go with the spray insulation kind of fill up all the small gaps and then that's about it got uh, another piece of foam so I should have enough to finish up the sauna area but uh, before that it's gonna be raining kind of soon so I want to finish up go through there's a couple of small holes like that one specifically that I just have to seal up on the outside. So I'm gonna glue those in, seal them, and then get to work on the actual foam. Saturday today I have uh, basically a full free day I'm gonna try to get started on the cedar on um, all the walls basically so I have two types of cedar actually I have a uh, ones that are like high quality that's for the actual specifically for this like sauna area and the reason is because you don't want the cedar that has cracks and knots and all that because over time it'll expand contract uh, with the heat and cold and so you'll get those cracks will become bigger and all those knots will start falling out and it just won't be good. So I have the good cedar and then the, just the normal stuff for the rest of it. Um, I'm gonna start off on probably this wall, the very, very back wall. Uh, that's cause the, the good cedar, I have it stored at the very bottom so I'm not gonna move everything just to get started on the actual sauna. So first things first, I wanna clean everything up, try to get this place tidy and then we could get started. Max back at it again. The best character out there. Best character from vlog two, I think. Max finishing up sealing all this stuff. Just finished the first wall fully. This one's all nice and done. The reason that there's uh, extras on the corners and at the top corners, because I'm not 100% sure how I want to finish this yet. So I just want to leave extra uh, versus cutting off too much and then having it look bad. So I'll finish those off at the very end once I'm ready done with all the tongue and groove, but next up is this wall, I believe. The battery died during the time lapse, so I'm gonna switch to some POV. Eric pulled up. Pod. Hello, hello, we got the Basara boys in here. Max is here, Eric's here.
got three of the walls done. One, two, three. And then Max also got the whole actual sauna fully prepped. So everything is covered up. There's no wood showing at all. So it's gonna be perfectly vapor sealed. Um, the only thing I'm doing left for today is adding some more joists on the top. So I noticed that there's some places with bigger gaps. So I'm just trying to make sure that when I do the top, I don't have to worry about that and I can just go, go, go. So that's it for today. I'm just going to do that and then clean up and then hopefully next week I could get more done. I think as soon as the plumbing gets finished, I'll be able to do the bathroom fully. And then the last thing I want to do is probably the sauna just because I don't want to rush that one. I want to make sure everything is perfect in there. And so that's that. What? No, this is not a What's time up, lapse. boys? If this is your first time watching this video, click the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> make sure to subscribe. We're about to get this popping. Let's go. Dan's here. We're getting the plumbing done. Uh, he's fitting up the shower stuff, I think, and then making sure all this stuff gets good. I'm gonna work on the gas line. I bought a new hose for the propane. So I'm gonna work on that, get that set up for when we get the water heater. So it just pops right up. Let's go to time lapse. <laughs> Okay, we wrapped up for today. I uh, got a bunch, everything plumbing done. We got the shower head, the shower, other stuff. This thing locked down. Found the actual drain, so that hole that we missed last time is all covered up. So we got a good hole in there. The propane hose that I bought was actually the wrong kind, and it wasn't long enough, so I'm gonna have to buy another one. But it's all prepped for that, and then Dan has something he wants to share with the world. Well, we're glad you guys got to see the whole time lapse because the battery didn't die, first of all. And if you guys like what you guys seeing, let us know in the comment section and maybe we could go into detail of how we did things. If you're interested, just let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And that's it for today. Boom! Okay, we're back. Uh, today I'm gonna be working alone. So the basically I only have two things I'm gonna be working on. The first thing is I wanna finish framing this area out. So how I framed this wheel well, I'm gonna finish it on this side, more in the bathroom, and kind of put some more support for the shower. Uh, once I get that framed out, then I'm just gonna continue putting on all the cedar tongue and groove. So here goes the time lapse. <laughs> So all the walls are finally done in here. Still gotta do the, the roof, but I got the walls done. One thing that I did do was, this might look really bad, but that's because all of this wood here is wood that I wouldn't be able to use anywhere else. It's just stuff that just really, just either like bad cuts or whatever. So I used it in this area because there's still gonna be another cover. Dapa. So all this wood is just bad and has a bunch of holes and all that. But the reason I use that is because this is still going to be covered up either way with a kind of like a white clear waterproof thing just so the shower is all waterproof. But that's that. I'm going to keep on working. Got a couple more walls to do. I got this one right here, uh, that one, and then that wall. And then after that, I'll be able to start working on the ceiling.
We got all the walls done. I started on the ceiling and the gun is dry firing, so I need to go get some oil for the gun. But I'm gonna call it for today. Um, also, I don't have enough cedar actually for the rest of the roof. This is all I have of the dirty cedar. And that's definitely not gonna be enough. So I gotta go pick up those things and then hopefully I'll be able to finish off the chill area. Bought some more uh, cedar tongue and groove. I don't know if it's quite enough, but Home Depot is really nearby, so it's not a big deal. But I think it should be pretty easy to finish up the roof today. I know I keep saying these things of like, oh, I should be easy to finish this, that, but I think I'll actually be able to finish it. I got some oil for the air gun too. Uh, it was firing dry, so I gotta oil it up. So I bought that. Um, I should easily finish the roof though right now. So let's get into it. Finally got the roof finished. This whole entire chill area is basically done with putting up cedar. All that's left is the wheel wells and then trimming out the frame. Um, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I've been delaying it for quite a while and I'm not gonna be able to work on the RV for probably the next month. Maybe I'll get a few days here or there, but I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I'm really happy with the progress, I feel like maybe one or two episodes left till it's finished and yeah see you guys later